Good morning, Williams class. For our history lesson today, the learning objective is, can I ask relevant questions about ancient Rome? Rome is the capital city of Italy. That is the Italian flag. So, who were the Romans? The ancient Roman civilization began in 753 BC when King Romulus founded the city of Rome and he actually named Rome after himself. Over the next thousand years, this small city grew into a large empire. The ancient Romans became one of the most influential civilizations in history, conquering areas in Europe Africa and Asia. So Romans became very influential. That means that they caused a lot of change. In ancient Rome, the people spoke Latin. What made the Romans so powerful? The Romans had a very well organized army, which allowed them to conquer other countries. The Roman army was one of the most successful armies in history and far more advanced than any other army at the time. How was the Roman army organized? The Roman army was made up of legions, which had nearly 5,000 men each. Legions were organized in a very specific way. So if you're wondering, a legion is like a team, a group. Eight men were put into a group called a tent. Then 10 tents were put together to form a century of 80 men. A centurion was in charge of the century. Six centuries were put together to form a cohort of 480 men. And 10 cohorts were put together to form a legion. So that is how a legion is formed. Roman soldiers had to be very tough and highly trained. They had to walk long distances to battles carrying heavy equipment, such as weapons, tents, and food. What did the Romans invent? They invented concrete. Concrete was invented by the Romans to help make their buildings stronger and easier to build. It is thanks to Roman concrete that so many of Rome's most famous buildings are still standing today such as the Colosseum. There's a picture there for you to see. They also created the newspaper. Newspapers were first invented by the Romans around the year 131 BC. The first newspapers were written on metal or stone and they were posted in public areas for people to read. They were called Acta Diurna, which means daily acts. So the newspaper, since the beginning of its birth, was created to give people news every single day. Books. Books were invented by Romans too. Before this, everything was written on clay tablets or scrolls. The Romans were the first to bind pages together. So they were the first to put pages together so that they looked like a book. Calendar. The calendar that we use today is based very closely on one that was developed by the Romans. The Julian calendar, which was named after Julius Caesar, who actually developed it, split the year into 12 months and it gave every month a name such as Augustus, September or Julius. I wonder what Augustus and Julius are called today. I wonder if you can figure that out. Who ruled Rome? Ancient Rome began as a kingdom and was ruled over by kings for 240 years. It then became a republic. This means that it was run by elected officials called senators and that there was a constitution agreeing how the republic should be run. Nearly 500 years later, however, Rome became an empire that was ruled over by an emperor. Caesar Augustus was the first Roman emperor emperors had almost complete control over the whole empire. Who was Boudicca? Boudicca was queen of the Iceni tribe. Boudicca led her army against the Romans. She was as brave and strong as any of her soldiers, so she fought against the Romans. 
Boudicca lived many years ago, so we don't have much information about her, but we can use objects from the past to help us understand her story. Did you know? Her name comes from the word Buddha, and this means victory. Now, there are no pictures of Boudicca, so we don't know what she looked like. Tacitus said that she had long red hair that hung below her waist. Boudicca's soldiers painted themselves blue to make themselves look more frightening. So those are three fun facts about fighting at the time of Boudicca. Some fascinating Roman facts for you. The Romans spoke Latin and Greek as their official languages. Although with such a large empire, there were many other languages that were spoken. The Romans ate many foods that we would consider a little bit strange today, such as parrot, peacock tongue, and garum. Garum was a condiment like ketchup and mayonnaise that was very popular in ancient Rome. And it was used like ketchup and it was added to all sorts of savory dishes. It was made by crushing and fermenting fish intestines. P.U. The Romans had lots of uses for urine, which is our pee. They used it to wash clothes, to tan leather, and even to whiten teeth. The Romans built about 55,000 miles of roads across the empire. They built very straight roads, many of which are still used today. Rich Romans often ate lying down. They would recline on sofas while slaves or servants served them their food. Some general facts for you. Rome was founded in 753 BC by its first king, Romulus. It grew into a rich and powerful city during the next few hundred years. Roman legend says that Romulus had a twin brother called Remus. As babies, they were abandoned in the area, which later became Rome. A she-wolf found and raised them. But when they grew up, Romulus fought and killed Remus and became the first ruler of Rome. The Romans built such a huge empire and conquered new lands, thanks to their strong army. The Roman army could march up to 40 kilometers a day that is a lot of kilometers. To bring water to their cities, the clever Romans built aqueducts. So this was a system of channels and bridges to take water into public baths and into toilets. The Romans didn't spend all their time fighting. They were amazing architects and engineers as well. They built roads, they built walls, they built all the things that we now sometimes can take for granted because we've always had them with us. But back in the day when the Romans were alive, these were all new inventions and new creations. So your three tasks then at the end of hearing all these interesting facts about Romans is as follows. Task number one, you're going to be using a template that I'm going to show you, or you can make your own. You're going to complete the sections about all the information on ancient Rome. So the template is over here. I'll move my, actually it's okay if I put my face there. Oh no, you might need that section. So this is the template here. Now you can use this if you'd like to, or you can create your own template. Whichever you choose to do, make sure that you complete it and put it onto tapestry. So I can see it and mark it. So you've got here one section. Can you draw the Italian flag? What is the name of the first emperor? Who was Boudicca? Why was she famous? Interesting fun facts. The capital, what the language is, other key facts that you can remember. What did the ancient Romans invent? And lastly, what made the Romans so powerful? So all of those sections need to be completed. And you can use your own template or you can use the one that I have provided for you. Once you have done that, task number two is to see if you can include some of the keywords in your writing. So while you're completing task one, see how many keywords that you can include. Once you have finished that, 
Last but not least is task number three, which is to proofread and check your presentation and your spelling before posting your work onto Tapestry. Now, this one is super, super important. Let's just have a quick refresh on what is expected of us at year four level for our history activity today. So I'm looking for great spelling. Use Google, use a dictionary, use an adult to get the correct spellings. I'm looking to see if we can remember our capital letters when we use them and where we use them. I'm looking for full stops at the end of our sentences, making sure that we're remembering our expectations, our punctuation, our spelling, making sure that our sentences are making sense, making sure that you're writing in full sentences as well. Enjoy completing this activity, Williams class, and do not forget to post it onto Tapestry so that I can see. I'll see you very soon. Bye.